Welcome to our lecture online. Even though the word rate is typically associated with time, we can also associate the change of something in calculus with respect to another variable. So in this case, again, we're talking about the volume of a balloon. And we note that the volume of a balloon relative to the radius is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed, or the volume of a ball period, but let's just assume a spherical balloon. And we're trying to find the rate of change of the volume with respect to radius. So now it's not depending on the time, it's not depending on the radius. And then we're going to evaluate it when the radius is 100 centimeters. So if we're looking for the rate of change with respect to the radius, what we're looking for here is we're looking for dv dr. We're looking for the derivative, but now with respect to r instead of with respect to time. So taking this equation, this would be equal to 3 times 4 thirds pi r, exponent 1 less, which is square, times dr dr. I always want to take the derivative of the variable on the right side of the equation, but in this case, it's dr dr. So that's why we simply don't write that. We can assume that's equal to 1. So we can say that dv dr, the rate of change of the volume with respect to the radius, is equal to 4 pi r squared. So now they get a feel of how that works. How fast is the volume changing when the radius changes? Well, let's find out how fast it changes when the radius changes from 100 centimeters to a new value, let's say 101 centimeters. So the radius is going to change from 100 centimeters to the new radius being 101 centimeters. And to get a feel for that, let's just calculate what the volume would be when the radius is 100 centimeters, what the volume will be when the radius is 101 centimeters, and then plug that difference also in here, because after all, what we can do is we can move the dr over to this side, and we can write that the change in the volume is equal to 4 pi r squared times the change in the radius. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from r 100 centimeters to r being 101 centimeters. So the change in r is going to be 1 centimeter. So let's calculate the volume. So the volume when r equals 100 centimeters is equal to, using the equation, 4 thirds pi r cubed. So that would be equal to, well, instead of the r, let's plug in what the r is equal to. So it would be 100 cubed, and we need a calculator for that. So it would be 100 cubed times 4 times pi divided by 3. Oop, 3 equals, and so we have, looks like 4,189,000. 4 million, 4 million, 189,000 cubic centimeters. And then we do it again, the volume when the radius is 101 centimeters, which is 4 thirds pi times 101 cubed. And let's see what that is equal to. 101 cubed times 4 times pi divided by 3 equals, and that would be 4,316,000 cubic centimeters. And when we subtract the two, or when we take the difference, the difference would be, uh, let's see, 4316 minus 4189. So we get 127,000 cubic centimeters. So that means that if the radius of the balloon increases from 100 centimeters to 101 centimeters, the volume will increase by about 127,000 cubic centimeters. Now going to our equation right here, we can see that we can calculate very quickly roughly the same value. It's not going to be exactly the same value because, of course, the volume continues to change non-linearly with the radius as r squared, but we can see that the change in the volume when r is equal to 100 centimeters and dr is equal to 1 centimeter, that's now going to be equal to 4 pi times the radius squared, which is 100 squared, times the dr, which is times 1. So let's go ahead and see what that is equal to. 100 squared times 4 times pi equals, and notice that it would be 126,000 cubic centimeters. So notice how close we got by this 
approximation. So you can see that very nicely we can find the change in the volume with respect to the radius. All we need is what the radius is and how much the radius changes and we can then very easily calculate the rate of change of the volume with respect to the radius. And that's how it's done.